All clear on pit exit. Hello. The track temps increasing. It's Hello. now 29 Celsius. Is that your American accent? Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Yeah. All right, Jimmy Johnson. You're very quiet. Am I? A little quieter than normal. <laughs> it's my first time talking today. All right. No humans around here. So 4,165 SOF. Uh, I racing. I've heard of this. I am car 16. I probably wouldn't have gone in then. Uh. No, it goes down to car 21. No. Oh. So you're saying there's a chance. And it's 29 degrees. It's the hottest I've raced all week. Oh, I should probably qualify. Yeah. The pit exit's clear. Okay, Neil, we've got two laps to set a decent time. I wouldn't normally stream uh, qualifying, but I think I want to see how it affects my machine running with all the overlays and stuff before right. trying to do the S's at lap one at Watkins. Do you not stream quality just because you think it's boring? Uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's just me driving in a circle. Well, I probably don't want to be doing this to my tyres, do I? I should slow down. Yes, yeah, so hopefully it's all nice and smooth. You should be able to see the track map on the bottom right. Um, it shows you a track map and not all else. And you should also be able to see the standings and how much time is left and the strength of field as well, I think. And maybe a relative or a gap. Okay, let's see what you've got. Ah, I see. Whereas you can't see, for instance, hopefully, the dashboard I have in the middle of my screen. Now I can see your inputs from iRacing and I can see the top of your steering wheel. Yes, yeah, I can't see my inputs because they're behind my dashboard. Ah, uh, I see. Because I don't need to, I know what I'm doing. I can see what I'm doing with the wheel. I've got it right in front of me. It's those feet, they just don't behave for me. Uh, my feet generally do what they're told. to watch them very carefully, make sure they don't misbehave. See, I have all my fuel and everything in front of me, but you won't be able to see any of that. Right. There shouldn't be anything about time lost on the track map. Yep. Yeah, you're running the weather at the bottom uh, with the wind and stuff. But you can't see time loss next pit or anything like that. The only thing I wasn't able to make go away, which looks like it's still potentially on your track map, but won't be able won't be able to know until you go live, is the little dot that shows where you would come out. I think you can't turn that off. Oh, the orange. The orange dot. Yeah. So at the moment I've got it showing us on the start finish line for me. Yes. you're in quality. I don't know how much of a delay you're seeing, but I'm just going around the last corner now. 
Uh, it's only about one corner behind on the stream. That's gonna load up and use him as well. Oh, I missed that corner up. First one. Yep. Yeah, so I have everything off on my side screen, so like my F3 box and my fuel and stuff is all on a side screen, so only I can see it. Right. Yeah, that's a... Uh, <sighs> something I just can't about. do. This is a pulling back. Likely to improve with a uh, plus three seven on the board. I'm trying. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, it improved. Not enough. So, I recognize Dion's name, and of course, Thierry's name. Yeah, that's the thing, I can't show you my standings, although I'm near the back actually by the looks of it. Oh, good. That means You're I'm shuffling down I'm, right now. I'm downwind of all the idiots. I'm P13 right now. You were like P8, but yeah, people have passed you here as they've put in their second lap. I uh, I rec I had four tenths yeah. I reckon in that second lap, so that would have put me seventh maybe. I just screwed up the bus stop and screwed up turn one. Yeah, I was only a tenth quicker in the second lap, and that included some fairly monumental mistakes. Uh, so, yeah. I should be able to make a few places up. Oh, there's another place. I'm P near the back. Oh, Gibbons is here. Where is Gibbons? He's in P1. LMP1. Okay. Looking windows. Hey, look, Jonathan Dance connected. I know that guy. Yeah, I'm in P14. <laughs> Out of 20, I guess. Yeah, P14. So whilst my crew chief will tell me in a second that I got a pole, uh, <laughs> my JRT is telling me that's the end of the session. P14. That I am P14. Were you able to tell uh, your JRT in the overlay on the stream to only show GTE somehow? Uh, what on the re on the relative or on the track map? On the relative, is that relative? Is that that's, F3 that's, box that's, mode, or is that yes, like F three? So it should show me and what's happening around me. Okay, so you're running relative mode. I think so. I'll have a look later when I'm not getting ready to race. Oh look, you can see how much fuel I'm adding because oh no, you can't see that. So say my big JRT dashboard shows me a massive great thing when I change the fuel amount to how much I'm adding. 
but you can't see that. So at the moment you should see... I can see it because I'm your spotter now. Patrick and Octavio either side of me. I can even come in here and mess with your fuel. You can. <laughs> so I've added some things to my dashboard at the moment. I've got my brake bias showing, my pedal positions, my force feedback level, strength field. I've added the real world time. And I've also added the instant counter. So I can see where uh -huh. I'm at instant wise, which is quite handy. There's a lot of cars in front of you. Uh huh. Spotter insights. There's some behind me as well. But only four. The track temp is 29 Celsius. The air temp is 29 this Celsius. Be a thing. <laughs> it's quite a warm track, but it's not terrible. Well, it's all, this week's been quite cool. It's, a, it's warm air temp, but overcast. Yeah. 29, 29. A lot of the week it's been mid to high 20s, but this is the hottest race I've had. Hopefully we can get a clean first lap, which means it'll probably be carnage and I'll have someone in my face before turn five. It's weird, I'm once again having trouble loading our livery. Do you have it set to delete at the end of every session or something? I think I did turn that on to try to conserve disk space, basically. Yeah, I'll just leave it off. Yeah. Unless you've got, like, only a couple of gigs spare, I'll just leave it on. Because you're actually downloading a fair amount of data, and if each livery is 10, 15 meg, which they could easily be, yeah, and you've got true. 50, 60 cars, you know, you could be easily be downloading half a gig of livery. It's just, uh, it seems everyone else's livery has been showing up lately, but not whatever car that I'm in or with. Just having the the BMW loaded yesterday, but not the when I, I was just doing some testing and the Porsche livery wasn't loading for some reason. I like that livery over there, that number 17 car. The uh, green and white one. I like that. It's quite a nice, simple one. Yeah. Why are we speeding up? P1s are at the heel. I hear squeaking brakes. I've got no interest in being right up these guys' asses. He wants to turn 10. Okay, red last corner now. Now we appear to be going. Green, green, yeah. green.
All right, Neil. There's a car exit in the pits. Heads up. And someone coming out of the pits just to keep things interesting. He's gonna come in behind the field. What class is he? P1. I think P1. Why has he done that? Don't be intimidated. Keep him behind you. Well, that was a terrible carousel. On your left. Hold your line. Clear oh, left. it's this guy. Richard, what's his name? Mm-hmm. I hear some spinning. I can't see it yet. Yeah, there's something happened behind me. Car right, clear right. That wasn't sensible. Maybe. Yellow flag, keep your wits about you, mate. This P1 behind you is very slow. Yeah, what is he doing? Excited by that Porsche. I seem to be locking my brakes quite a lot. But why is this guy so slow? Pretty sure he doesn't know what he's doing. Well, he's just holding position by looks at it. Yeah. Okay, Neil, you need to pass this twat, you're losing too much time. Yeah, 
he doesn't. Heads up, there's a car I rejoining. He really even knows the track very well. We well, used to be lapped in a minute by the P1. There's a faster car behind. He's racing us for position. I don't think we'll I get think a blue he's flag. Also, just trying to stay out of the way. But there are better classes to do to get safety rating in. On your left. He's going left. He's Still swerving. Left. Is Clear he left. On car a... left. He's got game pad Clear on left. Something. Jam. So get off the track. The gap to Sanchez ahead is now 1.2 seconds. He was swerving all over the place, so he was soaring at the wheel. He's going to end someone's race. Uh, it's cost me a second on the car in front, which is annoying. It's one of these people who have blue flag for the being caught by the LMP1 runners. Well, I have a right to be here. This is an actual P1. On your right, play right. Well, it's not the best first five laps I've ever had. Blue flag. Faster cars event. bearing down on you. Blue flag. Well, hopefully you didn't hit anyone. But I get that everyone's allowed to race, but if you can't even keep up with the slowest class in the fastest class car, then maybe you need more practice. Blue flag. There's a faster car approaching. It's weird, my my sim is showing white flags every time you get a blue flag. I think I'm catching these guys slowly. Blue flag. You definitely caught back up to Manuel here. Manuel. Really badly today. The car behind's a faster class. Blue flag. Oh, an Audi. Blue flag. So somehow I've only lost one position. Even I didn't see what happened, but you have three GTs behind you. 
Huh. In theory. Um, I, blue flag. I was in front of Richard at the start, so I've lost three, but then gained two somehow. Feels like the whole GTE field is fairly poo packed still. I mean, the lead is at turn nine. Come on, man, send it already. Not a lot of opportunity for anything here. Okay, Neil, stay close. Wait for him to make a mistake. My crew chief is bipolar today. He's telling me I've got to send it and then be patient and wait for a mistake. like pitted or anything like that. I wasn't running JRT at the beginning of the race, so I'm running it now. Well, the problem I have at the moment is it's going to get busy prototype-wise in a couple of laps. Yep. I don't know if these guys in front of me are holding me up or not. I don't think they are that much. The question is, I don't know if they're also pulling me along. Okay, mate, we really think you should pass this guy. So what I'm wondering is whether I pit before the prototypes get to me, save the time of them passing being sat in the pit lane, and then hopefully be able to run without four cars on my nose for at least the next half an hour. I would have expected for you to be faster than Richard, just from past experience. Yeah. With three cars in front of you. 
Um, We've got one lead HPD who's not far behind me. And then there's a pack, but the P1s are starting to mix in with that pack as well. The class leader from a faster class so is behind. Blue flag. I'm tempted to pit next time round. Watch your oil temperature, it's pretty high. And I'm now being told my oil temperature's high. Right side. Clear right. Yeah, it's 136. 26 or 36, I can't. You can almost read it on your steering wheel, but not quite. 135.5, I've got shown here. Oh, nice. It's even more precise than your dashboard. Um. Yeah, I could go quicker. It's very hard for me to say. Okay, Neil, keep piling on the up. pressure. He'll make a mistake. Uh, well, there's a faster class car the behind. Two guys behind you are gaining Blue flag. on you slowly. I'm just looking at that oh, gaggle sorry, of uh, prototypes that are currently a couple of corners behind. Right. I might give it one more lap. Is your window open? Uh, yeah, JRT yeah, says it's 24. Let's see if I can follow out Alec. Oh, hello, what's going on here? GT He's... pitted. Car right. There's a faster car behind. He's class leader. Clear right. The gap in front is now 0.8. Blue flag. Right, that changes things, potentially. Gives you a little more breathing room anyway. I'm just thinking I could not be here when it gets very busy, which, looking at turn, or well, start finish line now, there's four or five HPDs running line of stern. Blue flag. And if I could be not in their way, that will potentially save me a few seconds. Yeah. I mean, you'd be in clear, clear air, except for the GT that just pitted. Well, hopefully I can come out behind him and get a draft off him. Because I sense he was quicker than Patrick. Yeah, and you, uh, you don't have to do a safe pit entry, I think. Just There's a faster like car approaching. You can basically dive in. Like that makes Blue flag. Difference. Right, my pit marker at the moment is showing me he's coming out behind this group of HPDs, so... I will take a stop now, I think. Pit stop field to the end. Oh no, I just can't hear you. Looks like you're clear. Watch your speed. 25. Box in, 5. So I should be coming out behind Manuel. All, all these HPDs. That's the question. That was Manuel. He's six. He's crossing five, the line now. Four. Take care. There's a car approaching. Three. Faster car behind. You're well ahead of him. He didn't have a good stop then. Yeah, he might have taken extra fuel or something. He might have just said fill it up. Blue flag. Sanchez is closing you down. The gap has come down to 2.7 seconds. You do have this P1 
P8 behind you. And then there's a lap down P9 HPD, who's still behind Manuel right now. You're clear. Not the fastest HPD ever. He's waiting. Let's see if he knows how to get a run on you here or not. Right side. Clear right. There's a faster class car approaching. Yeah, so having that track map and knowing where I'm going to come out the pit lane. Although I did come out sooner than I thought I would. Um, it's quite useful. No. On your right. That's Clear right. So why did he have to pass at the apex? That cost me a second, that did. Technically, he had a right to block him because he was a lap down, but... I mean, it's iRacing, so you could have blocked him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> There's no rule about blue flags, but you didn't even have a blue flag. to Sanchez behind is now 1.8 seconds. So I'm guessing my pit loss time was about 18 seconds plus stop which was about 7 or 8 so 25, 26 seconds. Is that about right? Um. In total, you lost twenty nine seconds. Pass the car behind. Intent. This guy's their class leader. Okay, so it doesn't yet put me in. I'm still behind Patrick in Blue 13th. Flag. Yes. Well, oh, that was terrible. Manuel looks to be much the same pace as me, I think. I'm just putting in terrible laps at the moment. When I'm not driving off road, the delta's <laughs> showing the same. Faster car behind. Blue 
blue flag. The gap to Sanchez behind is now 1.4. There's a faster class car approaching. Blue flag. Robert's pretty aggressive. So I'm matching Patrick at the moment. Yep. I, mean, I think the best thing at this point is you're just not involved in any of those battles and if anything happens there, you're not going to be collected by it. Yeah, I'll lose less time to prototypes because it'll be one at a time as well. Yep. Um, but yeah, there's a whole, the whole line there's a of GTEs car approaching. There. Blue flag. Yeah, there's a lot of red boxes on my screen. The JRT. flag. Manuel's slowly gaining on me. So, if he gets me soon, it'll make more sense to sit behind him. GT in the pit lane. There's a faster class car behind. He's behind you. Well, okay, now there's a car exit in the pits. Heads no, up. Okay, 13, P13. He's coming out ahead of you. I thought it was Thierry who's taking more time in the pits. Uh, he's, yeah, he's already been in there 10 minutes. Sanchez is getting closer. The gap's come down to 0.6. Oh my god, it's this guy again. The P1 behind you is the... Very special driver. How's he still going? I don't know, I know he pitted. I thought I was hoping that he was. Blue gonna flag. There's a group of faster cars that. behind. Time to get defensive, mate. What's his eye rating? Flag. How much? 448. Oh my god. Hopefully he'll be getting disqualification soon. On your right. Clear right. Manual off a bit.
I think he's on a game pad. On your right. Clear right. Jesus Christ. See that he's drunk. He's jerking left and right all over the place. Yep. Dion looks like he made a mistake, so he'll be clear after pit. Patrick is right on the bubble. What's the gap to Patrick? 29 and a half. All right, we'll catch him. That's the important thing. Yeah, okay. Car behind's a faster class. Another crappy lap. Oh, uh, with yielding to Justin there. more important to survive. Blue flag. Blue flag. There's a faster car approaching. Okay, Neil, ignore that fucker in the mirror. Stick to your line. Nail those exits. <laughs> Just use Alex there to, uh... Clear left. Left side. Clear left. Car left, clear left. Oh no. What happened? Where'd he go? Uh, he understeered off. Oh. Hit the wall. I tried to give him lots of room. Is he up and running again or is he dead? Yeah, he's six seconds behind you. Blue flag. He has some damage. I don't know if he has meatball or not. It wasn't. I mean, obviously, it wasn't your fault. He should have been able to hold that line. Manuel seems quite happy sat back there. Alex pitted. Yeah, be a bit of then. Yeah, it could very well be. Faster class car approaching. Patrick should now be behind you after pit Blue flag. by about a second. Well, they pit with about 10 15 minutes to go, don't they? So they'll be pitting in 10 minutes. Get a bit closer. He's been catching me the whole lap. 
think you got a freebie in the pits here. Still showing 15. Yeah, I'm a little, a little confused as to what's... Okay, there we go. It's, GRT was taking a surprisingly long time to update. Left side. Still there. Hold your line. Blue flag. Hold your line. Hold your line. Clear left. There's a faster car uh, approaching. Both time. Car left. Yeah, not the place. Best place to go too wide. Left side. Clear left. Blue flag. Car left, clear left. Some of these prototypes are terrible today. There's a faster car approaching. Patrick is back to the bubble. Yeah, last lap was a couple of seconds slower. For it does depend uh, how their pit stops go. There's a faster class car behind. Blue flag. P5 is pitting. He'll come out ahead of you easily. P8 is pitting. Keep pushing him, there'll be a chance here. Blue flag. There's a car exit in the pits, heads up. Got a prototype in pit exit right now. Blue flag. He'll come out ahead of you after bouncing off the wall a bit. Big foot down. Right side. Sure Pass the car behind. Foot. Clear right. He did bounce off the wall on the inside of pit exit. A blue flag. <laughs> really causing problems behind you. All right now the P1 is coming. <laughs> This guy hasn't got enough top speed. Faster is he? car approaching. This guy's the class leader. I wish piss off. Car right. Hold your line. Clear right. All right, Neil. This bastard's holding you up. You've got to find a way past. On your left. Clear left. Clear. Uh, 
He hasn't got the straight line speed. I don't think the straight line right. is the problem. Still there. He doesn't know how to Clear get right. out of a corner. He might be his top end speed might be might be low. Well, yeah, he should be able to fly by. But look, you can't. He's he just can't get by. Go on, cause problems. I assume Manuel's smart enough to just lift or break a tiny bit early. If you had about five more hours, I think you could get P4. That doesn't help. <laughs> what so I'm what saying GT's is your pace is good. Me. P1, 2, and 3 are very fast. The car behind's a faster class. Patrick is still on the bubble. Uh, Richard's falling back quickly. I say Richard or Patrick. I don't know what's going on with Richard. Blue flag. There's some cars up ahead which aren't very far ahead. Yeah. Some of those will pit and I think some of them will not. Let's see. Um, I'm seeing two of them as pit. Yeah. The ones that are immediately in front of you have all pitted. So the, the next one, three cars the leading are for one position. is not pit. So uh, he's... Yeah, Richard just lost 10 seconds, so he's no longer an issue. Uh, he hasn't pitted yet. P11 hasn't pitted. Blue oh, flag. Captain Patrick. 28.8. Well, that's close. It's very close, yeah. Come on, find a way around, we're losing time. We are gaining on this pack of three though. Yep. I think they're being held up by Octavio and P11 who should pit very soon. There's a faster class car approaching. Blue flag. Stay now. Blue flag. Richard's pitting. So that's done and dusted. Patrick's now is 27.6. So you should come out. You should come out a second behind you or so. Faster car approaching. You now have Dimitri on the bubble. P6. On your left. That won't help. Clear left. Why do it at the apex? Because it was there. Well, at least he's done it to as well. Alex ended up not being uh, too badly affected by that damage. He took a 31 second stop. 
Okay, he's still running P2. Yeah, but optionals get done quite quick in that car. Oh, because they can do things like change out the whole... Yeah, they right? just take the whole nose off and stick a new one on. Okay, Neil, there's a car exit in the pits, heads up. Right, got three GCs coming out of pit lane. Yep. Yeah, so that's... Right, that's Dimitri, who is, I described as on the bubble. Patrick's behind you by three seconds. Yeah, I'm showing his P12 now. Yeah, you're a little slow coming, not you, but cars are a little slow when they come out of pit exit, so he definitely was affected by that. And that's why Manuel got beat around him. You still got Octavio to yield a blue flag to you. Four seconds out. Pass the car behind. And you'll have one more falling about two seconds ahead of you. Daniel Kraft in P5. is fitting. Oh, a bit close. Faster cars approaching. Blue flag. Right side. There's a car leaving the pits. Clear right. Yeah, P5's out well ahead of you. No effect, really. Smoke and death. Yeah. You got a slow car on the outside of Carousel. It's coming back up to speed. I'm showing this P10. Yep. You've got three cars in front of you within two seconds. Where's Octavia? Has he stopped? He stopped, he's gone. He's running last. So everyone's now stopped? Yep. Faster car approaching. Blue flag. Not that close. <laughs> no, I know that. <laughs> Faster car approaching. This guy's their class leader. Blue flag.
Might okay, side. Neil, stay close. Wait for him to make a mistake. Car right. Hold your line. Clear right. Front lap four doesn't look overly pointy. She looks like you have a little bit of damage on the splitter. I do, or he does. You do. Oh. Your, your Blue flag, there's not, a faster class car behind. Not quite right. Yeah, the Ford has seen... His looks worse than yours. <laughs> what Making funny walks on the slightly... Slightly bent splitter. It's very slight, I'm guessing it's from off tracks. Left side. Clear left. Ah. On your left. Oh. Still there. Clear left. Oh man, you could have had him too. Oh, that bloody HPD. I was right in a good position to go under him. Dickhead. The car behind is a faster class. Blue flag. I reckon I'll go to Ford to contend with. Well, I think I've got more straight line speed. Defend your position. Don't let him through. Car left. Blue flag. Clear left. Faster car behind. Let's try and get on the back of Nick quite soon. Hopefully this P1 will help. flag. There's a faster car approaching. A blue flag. Yeah, that Ford has no straight line at all, does he? But even set point three off the back, he's got no draft at all. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, his nose is well arranged, rearranged. Alright, it's three laps. arranged. Yeah. Okay, Neil. Hold your nerve. Just keep it smooth. No mistakes. I feel like I could get Nick. But I need to get on him. It's annoying, so I was on him. At the moment, he's matching me pretty well. You're gaining on the next three. Yeah, where are they on track though? 
Uh, Daniel's four seconds ahead. Oh, shit. They're both showing as having pit before me. Uh, no, only Manuel. Two cars up. Oh yeah, no, I'm looking at the wrong part of the track. Nail him already. Not the best corner. Running out of laps. Yeah. I'll see two laps to go. Yep. There's a faster car bearing down on you. He's the class leader. Blue flag. Boost, 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 boost. Blue flag. Very defensive. There's a faster class car approaching. Actually, not sure whether the leader got the white flag yet. It was pretty close. Blue flag. The lead is not far behind me. Yep. I've got three laps of fuel. Yeah, he he's only seven seconds behind you, so he may lap you and give you the white flag that way. Yep. I just get by Nick. Two seconds behind you. There's a faster car bearing down on you. He's the class leader. Blue flag. Maybe be able to set up a run into the next corner.
hoping he'd stay inside. out of fuel. He must be. Oh my god. <laughs> P8, there's the checkered flag. Because he didn't make a mistake. He didn't. He just lifted suddenly. <laughs> oh, brilliant. His, I'm going to listen to his in-car. He, he must be off the limit. Yep. He just started to sputter as he came out of that corner. Who was it? It was <laughs> Nick Madsen. Oh man. He was in yeah, no sputtering until he went back. Oh, literally, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That is why you don't cut it so close on fuel. Oh, yeah, I still had two laps left. Yeah, well, I, we weren't that far off from having to run another lap. I mean, JRT had it right, but... Um... <laughs> so, hang on, where did I end up then? P8. One, two, yeah, eight. Not bad, we we're considering our 15th halfway through. Yeah. <sighs> You, bit, you oh, beat that's, that's Nick good. and Dimitri, which were both higher irating, and Yanez, Ruinez, Nunez, Nunez. Let's just stick to last names. I was getting PMs from that Justin guy. You were? Yeah. He probably didn't know how to message me back. Well, actually, he probably couldn't. Because I messaged him and I didn't hear anything back from him, but you know I was your spotter. So, what did he say? Uh, he said, "And your definition of dangerous would be, and if someone does not have a wheel, they cannot play." I don't know what you said to him. Uh, I said, "Hi, I don't know what you're doing, but you're dangerous. Would kindly suggest you park the car if you don't have a wheel or if you don't know the track." <laughs> oh, why is Gibbons having an argument with Richard? That's what uh, happens. That's the thing about pits. Yeah, what happened there? Where's... I don't see... See if I can watch it from uh I'd say he was dangerous because his driving was unpredictable. That's oh, why yeah. it's dangerous. Oh, Richard had a fairly sizable Yeah, I know something happened to him, but I didn't I didn't so, watch the looking at this, he was going around the last corner. David Gibbons behind him. And Richard went for pit entry. And clipped him. Ah, because... 
he was distracted by Justin Webb. Yep. What was Justin's laps like? What was he doing? Did he get any quicker? Oh, wow, yeah, Richard got killed. Justin was doing... Uh, 41s, some 37s, and then 42s. So he was not much quicker than us. So yeah, there you go.